All right. You guys remember this? I was on an off-grid camping trip, I don't know, it was a couple months ago now, it was July, it was just before the 4th of July. And I had this knife on me, it's a Kershaw, and I busted the tip off of it, prying on something. And I filed that down to kind of like a chisel point, um, and the knife's kind of dull right now, and you know, whatever. So I went ahead and went on amazon i bought a new one and i just wanted to show it to you guys because i got asked about this quite a bit and this is called the select fire and there's the number for it 1920 and now you guys know what knife it is because i don't remember this stuff i don't same thing with the watches i'm learning i'm learning the movements and everything especially for seiko but when it comes to these knives, it's not like... I mean, I've had a lot of Kershaws in the past, still have quite a few of them, but this is pretty much the one I carry all the time. I use it for everything. It has this thing here that folds out, and you can put these bits, which pivot on a spring, and store in these little holders. So you can put any bit you want that you use. You can see here I've got a P1, a P2, Phillips, and I've got the hex head and a flat head. I use this all the time. All the time. And uh, Dave turned me on to this. The guy's making those engine lift brackets, right? And here's a bottle opener as well, right? Which obviously, it's got a liner lock. So, boom. You can open yourself a, a beer bottle with that, I suppose. <clears throat> Let's take it out of the box here. So I got some spare parts from, th from this one here. I could also just stash this in the van and use it. I just landed that right on this joint, and I don't know if you could tell by looking at my fingers here, but uh, you see there's a rise right there, which you don't really see on this finger. I broke this joint or something um, over the last week. It's very, very painful in there, and I must have just jammed it up on something and kind of forgot about it or what I did. I do that all the time. I'm always finding injuries on my body. So here's how it comes out of the package. I can recommend this knife. So typically it comes with a uh, smaller and a larger flathead, as you would expect, and then P1, P2 on the uh, Phillips heads. I'm going to push them down in there a little bit been jostled around during transit you can see the spring systems in there you know straightforward stuff so it's repairable and uh, that's it I'm, I'm I'm happy with this knife this isn't the thinnest knife let me show you something here this here this here's another Kershaw and again I forget the name of this one as well but it has the liner lock or excuse me this uh, barrel lock on it right which is a I think it was Benchmade that might have come up with that. I could be wrong, but the patent ran out on that, so now everybody can use it. It's it's a little bit more difficult. You have to grab it with your thumb and your middle finger uh, and slide. Or eh, I guess you can just do it with your thumb. Look at that. And then push down on the blade to unlock it. You do this and then flick it. That's usually how I open my knives. But no liner lock. It's just right here. Which, you know, I don't know. I suppose people say that this is a better system. It's more moving parts, if you ask me. But what I love about this blade is this spear point to it. This is, you know, you need a knife all the time. I'm always opening a box or, you know, cutting something. I'm always cutting something. And this is more of like a combat style blade. So if you're doing your operator fantasies and whatnot, you, this is a good blade to have on you. And I just wanted to point out the difference in thickness. So this one's much thinner. So it's nicer to carry. Look, I keep going for the liner lock because I'm so used to it. So a liner lock, for those of you that didn't pick up on it already, when I open this, right, let's flick that out. Right here, there's a piece of steel that comes in and pushes up against the bottom of the blade here. And now it's locked, it won't close. Use your fingernail here and you push to the side, you see that? And then you could use your index finger to fold that over 
replace, move your thumb over, close it, you're golden. Pocket clip. So again, this is the one I'm usually carrying with me. That little kitchen on the back door of my um, Astro van, there's a Phillips head screw that holds a coin in place, so I have to loosen that up. I have to come up with a better system for that, but um, it's always nice to have this on me because that's how I do that usually. Anyhow, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this little, you know, showing you the knife, my everyday carry knife. I do change it up from time to time, and it's, sometimes it's this one. And uh, there's the old one that is uh, well used and broken now. <clears throat> That's it. Have a great day. Be kind to one another. I'll catch you all in the next one.